You told me once that, that uh, one of the people you were most influenced by was Charles Osnabor. Yes, absolutely. Would you talk about that? About Yes. Uh, in spite of all of the people you had experienced, all the music you had experienced, he changed your life. Yes, because he... I never thought I was a good singer. I still don't, you know, but I know how to tell a story. Because right. I went to see this guy, Charles Astor, and Peter Allen. He said, come on, we have to see this French guy. I said, I don't want to see... He said, come on, we have to go. <laughs> so we're sitting there, and this little man walked out on stage, and I stopped breathing mm. because of what he did and how he could capture an audience and how he could take you in, and suddenly you were, you were in his head. You were seeing what he was seeing. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the show, I said, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. So I asked him if he would be my mentor. And he said, me? <laughs> <laughs> And he wrote great songs for me, just great. And he said, you are going to sing this song? I said, yes. He said, but it's about a man playing a woman. I said, yes, well, now it's about a woman playing a man playing a woman. <laughs> I said, life goes on, you know? <laughs> but he taught me so much about uh, the immediacy of the stage and what you can do on a stage and how every single person in the audience has to be the most important person in the audience. Hmm. They have to be. So there's no boundaries. Hmm. 